Okay, so here's a little description on the top five back pain hacks. Number one, static back. That's where you're on the ground, legs up at 90 degrees. If all else fails, just lie there. I used to take naps in that position. Notice if your both hips and both shoulders are equally on the floor as you settle into the floor. You can also do it in bed if you absolutely have difficulty getting up and down off the floor. But floor is your best place because it's going to let your back just sort of settle into the ground. Your hips are in a neutral position and that should help your back settle down. It might take some time though. Okay, number two hack, two tennis balls in a sock. Just take two tennis balls and stick them in a sock. Put them, everyone says, where should I put them? Where should I put them? Put them anywhere from the bottom of your shoulder blade to the bottom of your shoulder blade, right in that area. And break loose in the middle of your back. That will help take pressure off your low back because sometimes the middle of your back is a quiet, tight spot that actually pushes your low back and it makes it hurt. So try that. Whenever you're sitting, whenever you're driving, whenever you're stuck on an airplane, two tennis balls and a sock. I even keep some by my bed in case my shoulder or my mid-back feels tight while I'm in bed. Number three, breathe through your nose. Breathing through your nose is what I call lazy girl core. So that gets three core muscles to kick in and it will help stabilize the middle of your body simply by breathing all through your nose, in and out, into your diaphragm. Keep your shoulders out of it, so don't take a deep breath in and have your shoulders go up. Just breathe all through your nose, in and out, when you, right before you go to sleep, when you go for walks, when you go for runs, when you are doing any activity, see if you can't breathe through your nose. That will help stabilize your core, and that's better than doing a million planks. Number four, back pain hack, the air bench. You're just gonna find a chunk of ball. You're going to press your low back flat on that tight surface into the wall. Your ankles from the, are further from the wall than your knees. You're gonna push your weight on your heels. You're gonna feel it in those quads. And then you're gonna hang out here for like two minutes. The classic wall is safe, except your heels are further from the wall than your knees. Press all that sore low back stuff. Okay, so back pain hacks one through four were all about releasing the back. Now we're going to take some pressure off the back and engage another muscle to help take pressure off the back, but give your body something else to work with. So that's the glutes. We're gonna try walking sideways. When you walk sideways, you wanna keep your legs straight up and down, and you wanna put your weight on one heel, and then you wanna push through that heel as you walk to the side. As you walk to the side, so I've got my weight on my left heel as I walk to the right, right heel as I walk to the left and I am trying to get calf hamstring glute up the back of my leg. If you can only feel your calf, if it dumps from your calf to your quad, keep trying. Don't give up on walking sideways. It is such a powerful direction to go, especially if your back is super duper sore.